From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Janice Allen. First at 10, a tragic accident in Kent County. After a dive team with the sheriff's office recovered the body of a three-year-old boy who had drowned in a pond near his home. This happened off of 60th Street and Eastern Avenue. Fox 17's Marisa Overly is live in the control room tonight with more on this story. Marisa. Yeah, Janice, this area faced something similar last year. Investigators think this most recent toddler wandered down to the pond after he managed to escape his family's apartment unit undetected. A somber scene Sunday in Gaines Township. We're grieving alongside that family in this community. It's a hard time um, for them. Deputies with the Kent County Sheriff's Office, crime scene tape and other signs of a mishap spotted throughout Woodfield apartments. It's always a concern, water and young children. That's always a concern of ours. Sergeant Eric Brenner explains around 2.15 p.m. Investigators received a call from the parents of a three year old who live in the complex panicked that they could not find him. He says when members of KCSO's South Service team arrived, they began to search all over, but soon focused on the pond about 40 yards away from the family's unit. After a witness account and video surveillance showed the toddler there by himself an hour earlier, a dive team found him dead around five o'clock. We suspect that there's no uh, foul type of play whatsoever. Um, we just believe this is a, a simple accident, a tragic accident where a kiddo was able to get past the door. Um, maybe it wasn't locked, but uh, just was able to wander off and get away from home and walked right outside. Um, for some reason was just attracted to that water and, and went down into it. Last May, in less than two miles from the most recent incident, a one-year-old managed to escape his house too and died after he fell into Buck Creek. Brenner stresses parents lock and childproof their doors and says in extreme cases, local organizations can help with the hopes it prevents scenes like this. We all have those kiddos that we know may be a little more at risk of wandering away. Do pay uh, special attention and there are programs out there. Um, if there is an at risk child who may be prone to wandering to away, they have some developmental disabilities. There are programs that we can work with as far as GPS tracking, etc. things like that, having their information already down. So if something does come up, we have it at a moment's notice. Parenting blogs say even installing alarms or even putting up a large picture of a stop sign can help with preventing children from escaping homes. If you would like more tips on how to try and stop this, you can head to our website at fox17online.com. Reporting in the control room tonight, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.